Good morning, everyone. We are in Ketchikan, Alaska today. This is our fourth port stop? Or third, because Hubbard Glacier does count as a port stop. Uh, it looks like a lovely little fishing village. However, it is raining really hard, which we're not excited about. We have a shore excursion. We have to meet at 8.45 a.m. Getting up early for us is difficult. <laughs> I know a lot of you wouldn't consider that early, but I'm not thrilled about the rain at all. Our short excursion is Ketchikan Highlights and Totem Bite State Park. Yeah, I hope we don't get soaked. Not real thrilled. The ship is only here until noon, so we're here a very short amount of time, and it's already after 8 a.m. right now, so only morning stuff going on, and we'll be back for lunch. And there's a whole bunch of stuff I want to do this afternoon. We should have a full day of activities. I just hope we don't get soaked on our short excursion. So if you can see out the window there, I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining pretty hard. The ship is right here. So thankfully we didn't have to walk very far, just down a little ramp, and then they pointed us right to this bus. We're sitting back here because there's five seats, and then we're king of the bus. Actually, Ben's king of the bus. Be by the window. You want to be by the window? Yeah. Do you want to sit up here with Maggie or something? Sure. That's fine. I gotta film, so I gotta be by the window. It's raining and it's very cold. Yeah, Megan yeah, had. I, I was hoping it was gonna be an open top one. <laughs> I just really wanted to be part of nature. Megan had to run back up. We just wore our rain jackets and we thought, okay, well, we're gonna be on a bus, we'll be okay. But then we got down to the gangway and we're like, it's really cold. And so Megan ran back up to get our hats. So they, hopefully we can keep them dry under our hoods. It's a little hard when you have a poof. There is another ship in port with us today. Oh, I don't think you can see it, but back over there is the, oh, there you can see it, kind of. The Royal Princess again. My dad just pointed out that, yeah, you can walk around. Well, that's probably a crew area, Dad. Yeah, because we don't, we walk around just inward of that and I can see a bunch of crew uniforms hanging there. But my dad just pointed out that middle window, not the deck above the name, but right above that, that's our dining table where we eat at night. We're right in the middle, right off the back. We have a very good table for a view. Sorry for the rain. Alright, here we go. Hi, ship. Creek Street. 
but in reality with all the rain that we did the trail was always muddy so everyone just assumed when someone had a lot of mud on their shoes they'd been up to creek street <laughs> and when we teach the five different types of salmon we use our fingers we've got the chump that rhymes with thumb the sockeye for the finger that you poke or sock yourself in the eye with. The king's for the biggest. Silver's for the one you wear your silver jewelry on. And the pink's for your pinky. Those are the five different types of salmon. <laughs> and the high school mascot here is the king salmon. So the kids say it's okay to give a king salmon salute once. <laughs> and on our left hand side we have the skate park. It was put in a few years ago. The idea was to keep the different activities back here in this one location. So we have our ball fields. They play baseball, softball, and soccer. Here it's a gravel field so that the rain will drain off because we do not cancel games because of rain. And we are in a temperate rainforest and we average about 13 foot of rainfall <gasps> each year. Oh my gosh. It originally started out as the fish hatchery. And when they relocated the hatchery, they turned it into the park. So now on the hot so summer pretty. days, the families will come down here and have picnics. And the kids play in the different pools of water. This is really pretty. Our average temperature here in the winter is about 35 degrees. Oh, way warmer than And the all. average snowfall is about three foot. You'll it's way colder and we get way more snow than that at home. Otherwise, There's Creek Street. Most of the other buildings have all been turned into gift shops. The building coming up on our left hand it's side. It's actually really close to the port. The ship the is right there. Is the, so we have the tunnel, and on the right hand side of the tunnel, oh, there's another we princess have another ship. one of our That's... wooden stair streets going up. If you lived on a stair street, anything you bought, you had to carry up the stairs, and anything you got rid of, you had to carry back down. This so is Royal Princess, but that's something else. Can you see the name, Andrew, or you might on the bow? Multiple trips to get everything that's a Grand Class Princess ship, the, the older class. That's when they okay, built so we have the Grand Princess in port, but they're and on their left -hand side, anchored, they the so they're going to have to tender. They wander around down and this is Royal Princess here. The sea stars, the jellyfish, and all the different types of anemones that are down there.
through the inside passage. And so we saw a couple of these on our whale watching tour, so and I didn't run, realize they were the fairies. Take our automobile. We usually put it on one of the fairies. Oh, wow. Then on our right hand side is going to be the A and P market. A lot of a steep P hills. Here stands for Alaska and Proud. They have O'Reilly Auto Parts. And on their left hand side is the shipyard. So they do ship building and they've got the dry dock for doing ship repairs. There's another Holland America ship, probably the Koenig's Dam. They went there. Then all through school, whenever they go back to that location, they stay with the same family. She's telling us about um, so they always sports. Take sleep it's bags. really, sure they'll have they used to, to take the ferry. Parents yeah, generally don't they used to take the ferry game. because, because by the but it would take so long to take the ferry and play their game. Just make sure that they go to all of the home games and stuff. Another princess ship. No no, 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 oh, Norwegian Bliss. Okay. The cove. On the other side of the cove, in front of the Norwegian Bliss, we have the old pulp mill. With what a, a weird place for them to die. So anyway, by the time they took the Alaska State camp, Ferry to the game, played the game, and then took the next together, ferry back, the kids would miss a week of school. Right so now they have to fly to their games. The, the school district pays a portion of it, and then the kids have to fundraise to the rest to be able to play sports here. And with fishing, that includes our canneries. Catch Can used to have about 17 operating canneries, and now we're down to three. We have E.C. Phillips, Trident Seafoods, and Alaska General Seafoods. And then our main, other main source of income here would be from tourism. Ketchikan is expecting approximately 1.5 million guests off cruise ships alone this year. So we can have two cruise ships tied up out here in Ward Cove. We can have four in town. And then we can also have two ships anchored in town tendering their guests. So we could have up to eight cruise ships in port at one time. They prefer to limit us at about six, but once in a while we do go over the six. It's just that it gets so congested downtown and you can't get around them. Pretty. Totem Bight State Historical Park. The park here was started in 1938 by the Civilian Conservation Corps. A lot of people know it as the CCC. Civilian Conservation Corps was an organization that would come into an area and build, hire locals to build projects. When they came into this area, at least 50% of those that they hired had to be local natives. So pretty. Years ago, and they logged it over. They clear cut everything out of here. So what you see now is what they classify as the new growth. With the stumps that were left standing as seeds from other trees fell on them, they started providing some of the nutrients for the new growth. They're called a nursery tree or a nursery stump. There's an example of it across from me. Eventually that stump will be decayed and washed away and it'll be a bigger version of the small one to the now we are on an island that's made out of rock, so there's only about three foot of dirt on top of it. So the roots to the trees have no way of going down and really getting anchored. And the pole that we're standing in front of here is called Man Bearing Bear Hat. It is a grave marker for the chief of the bear clan. The story behind it, the figure that's up on the top of the pole, is the bear representing the bear clan. Originally.
So the totem poles were a way for the tribes to tell their stories. They're kind of their written language because they didn't have a written language. When the missionaries came here, they thought they were some type of religious or worship thing and they aren't. This is really pretty. It'd be nice if it wasn't raining though. This tour is very interesting. I highly recommend it. And this one I feel is worth the money to pay for the shore excursion. The tour information is really excellent. It's very, very interesting. Megan wanted to see a bear on this trip and the only bear we've seen is the crew member dressed up as a bear <laughs> that was on the ship this morning. And I wanted to see a moose. And I think the only moose I'm gonna see is this one. Poor moosey. We're gonna say that he died of natural causes. This gift shop is huge. It like keeps going. They also have antique cars in here, but the gift shop keeps going back there like way, way back. There's also restrooms in here. If someone owed you a sizable debt and they didn't repay it as they had agreed upon and time went by and they still weren't paying on it, you might have a totem pole carved and put in your yard and make sure that everybody knew the story about how they didn't repay the debt to you like they had agreed upon. And that way, no Boy, one that ship is a lot taller than ours. Anything. But then as soon as they did repay the debt to you, you were supposed to go out and cut down the totem pole and burn it as a way of letting everyone know that they had finally met their obligation to you. So they were very public in letting people know what was going on in their lives. Well, this is Koenigsam now. Was this here before? Does anybody have any questions about anything? No, it wasn't. Back back into your ship? Or no? Yeah, Koenigsam was came later, and then it must have come and pulled in here. I'll be dropping you off by 11:30. So that gives you a half hour only. And then we I came just through the tunnel out. going out. Yeah. Now we're going to be going around it. There's the tunnel. We There's came through that before. I think Grand Princess came in and is in front of Koenigstam here and then we're in front of that. Because that's not our ship. lunch and the grand princess is right there. <laughs> it's right there. The five ships that are in port today are the Eurodam, the Koenigsdam, the Grand Princess, the Royal Princess, and the Norwegian Bliss. Which got banned to the Yeah, Norwegian Bliss is way far away. The other two were like out in the water waiting to get in and dock and they had to squeeze in here in between us and the Grand Princess. Or us and the Royal Princess. We and the Royal Princess were here first, and then the Grand Princess and the Koenigsdam had to like squeeze it. We are pulling away from the dock slowly. No, we're not. Not yet. They did release the ropes. But... I watched that. The thing is that like all those shows, I uh, once I went to college. I'm not really going to show you our food and at lunch anymore because it's the same food every day. Yeah, that's right. Here you can see all the other ships, except for Norwegian Bliss, which is docked really far away on the way to the Totem Bight State Park. It was all by itself. Oh, what I know. was that? <laughs> I noticed there was a school. Was we, we passed a yeah. school, and it was overlooking the ship. Can you imagine being in a school and then seeing a seeing ship? Seeing a ship up? come in, that would be cool. Okay, we just stopped and talked to John a little bit. 
the naturalist and now we're going to this in the main the world stage It's almost time for us to go to dinner. Um, this afternoon, Megan and I stopped and saw, talked to John for a little bit and asked a couple questions. My dad took a nap. Andrew went to the crow's nest and was reading his books. And Ben just kind of took a nap, chilled in the stateroom too. And then Megan and I at two o'clock went to that women in Alaska um, breaking these ice ceiling thing, which was actually very interesting. It was about a woman who was a Coast Guard captain, a woman who was a bush pilot um, that lands on glaciers, and a woman who was a fisherman on the Copper River. Yeah. Okay, and then Megan went off and did some reading and stuff, and my dad, Ben, and I went to see Disney Nature Bears in the main theater. So I was in the main theater two times in a row. And now it's dinner and it's dress-up night again, but we're just wearing, like, black pants and red shirts tonight because it's quite cold <laughs> we're cold and we don't really want to wear dresses and we have way too many pictures and again that's a complaint of mine on this cruise that they don't have an unlimited photo package and the pictures are really really expensive it's a hundred dollars for five photos 189 dollars for ten i don't even want to know how much the pictures we had taken on the glacier yesterday or two days ago are going to cost but we're having our viewing of those tonight after the show and I really want to see them, and I really want to get some, but I'm afraid they're going to be really expensive. What was it, like $500 for 20 pictures? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous, and there's no unlimited package, and just one photo is $20. So I'm not happy with the photo prices on this cruise, but we're not going to take any more pictures because we already have plenty, and we're going to have to, I mean, we probably have, what, 100 pictures taken, and we're going to have to narrow it down to 5 or 10 yeah. somehow, so... Anyway, we're going to dinner now, and then tonight I want to go play. There's a game at 7. We're going to go see the show, which is dancing, and then we have an appointment to look at our Hubbard Glacier pictures. That was the only time he could show them to me that we had free, so. It will be the same spot, like yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I, we, <laughs> change, we change all the time. No worries. I've been forgetting to show the menu. I'm so sorry. I have... I'm totally you. forgetting about yeah. this the whole cruise. Oh. Well, this paper, so. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Show that back. Yeah. I got a salad. Just to say that. Megan got her favorite French onion soup. It's a little, it's a little sick. It's a little sick. Dad got some kind of asparagus thing. Thank you. What is, oh, Andrew got the escargot. What'd you order, buddy? The other soup? Oh, yeah, here it comes. Oh, yeah, it, it's the special kind. Thank you. I love it. You're waiting. I'm waiting for you. I know you're filming, job. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Megan got the... Ravioli. Andrew. Mushroom ravioli. Mushroom ravioli, as did Andrew. And he actually also brought it to me, but I quickly corrected him that I had ordered the mushroom Papa's risotto. Papa's being all the, um, what is it called, asparagus? asparagus? All the asparagus. But the style of asparagus. What is that though, Dad? Steak and shrimp? What is it? It's beef tenderloin. Ben got the fish. Here's my mushroom risotto, just a little bit delayed. We've got a lot of dessert tonight, so we got the chocolate cake, the carrot cake, another chocolate cake, another carrot cake, tiramisu, and then we have four apple crisps. And Meg has a sundae. And me. And Ben has a sundae. We just. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. You go to that one. Okay. How about the second one? For movie passwords. What do you think, Team Beach? He said. 
Thank yes. you. The phone number that everyone knows, 8675309. Nicely done. All right, let's do one more each here. Do you know this one? That's all that she has, but you want to do it one more time for us? It's like two pitches. I almost feel like you're you're singing it too well. <laughs> like you're singing it better than the than the, the singers. <laughs> Any anybody have a guess over here? Does anybody have a guess on Team B? Who let the dogs, Who let the dogs oh! out? That's right. Team B stole it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Team A. <laughs> yes, it is. We're off to see the wizard. From the Wizard of Oz. Nicely done. You want more of it? <laughs> oh no, I'm not allowed to sing. They don't let me do that here anymore. <laughs> I just came back to the room by myself and we had the mystery. I think it's a dog. I don't know. We had one like this on Disney Cruise Line too and never did figure out what it is. And look how much the vibration, how much vibration there is. I'm actually very upset right now. We're all very upset, but I think I'm the most upset. We just went and had our session to look at our pictures from our private photo session for the pictures we took by the glacier. And we spent a half an hour doing that. It was really fun and we figured we were going to get some beautiful photos. The photos are absolutely stunning. They're beautiful. They're all edited and everything and they're just absolutely fabulous and he got so many good pictures and we don't get to get any of them because the only way they sell them to you is in a package and the smallest, least expensive package was $700. And none of us have $700. I barely have enough to cover our expenses on this trip. And I was so upset because they won't even let you buy, you know, like one photo. And I just wanted the digital ones to get just the digital copies because you're paying for the licensing was $3,000. We had 56 photos that he took of us by the glacier and they were absolutely wonderful and we'll never see them again. And I'm so upset because I mean, I just would have liked to have one, you know, like of the, of us in front of the, so now I don't have any, I don't have any of, if we would have known that because we spent all that time, we wasted all that time now taking the photos with him professionally, not knowing that they were that expensive and that we weren't going to be able to buy them. And other photographers, the ship photographers, were going around the whole ship, the back of the ship, and taking the regular photos that you can buy, the regular ones that are $20 each and that we could have gotten as part of our photo package that we're getting normally, that's like $189, we could have gotten those, and we didn't because we thought we were doing this special thing, but we had no idea they were going to be that expensive. And I'm really upset because now... I don't have a single photo of me in front of the glaciers because I was the one taking the pictures. And those pictures were so pretty. They were so pretty and so beautiful and we'll never see them again. And I'm really upset and I don't like how Holland America does photos at all. I don't like how expensive their stuff is. I don't like that they completely mislead you and don't give you... I mean, if we had known that that was the only way you could get them, we they should advertise the prices ahead of time so that you wouldn't waste your time having them take the pictures of you when you're not going to be able to afford to buy them. I mean, nobody's going to buy that. I mean, no, maybe like a rich person. really wealthy people maybe are going to buy them, but there were other, there were like young couples and stuff taking pictures in the private photo sessions. They're not going to be able to afford that. So I'm really upset. And then the other thing I don't like is why the heck are they still printing all the photos? 
That's so wasteful. That's every really wasteful. That's so wasteful. They're printing every photo they take and making you find them, you know, on the walls. And that is so wasteful. It's such a waste of paper. And they should... And sh ink. That's and really ink. High quality. Yeah. Really? Why are they charging so much? Yeah. And that ink is beautiful. And I know. Extremely expensive. Too. Every other cruise line is doing the photos. Well, I don't know about every other cruise line, but Disney and Royal Caribbean are doing all the photos digitally. And you go on a kiosk, and they only print the pictures if you want them to, and you're going to buy it. And I never have them print photos. I always just buy the digital copies. I mean, it's ridiculous to me that they wouldn't even give us an option. That I couldn't buy just one. That you the, cut out the other thing. Yeah. Why can't you buy one of these Alaska photos? Right. Like you can print it right now for me. Right. Why can't I have just one? I mean, he already had printed them. And he had he, them in the folder. He had them in an album. No, he had the folder open on his computer. Right. Why can't you print one more right now for me and let me buy the one? I'll pay 50 bucks. I'll pay $100. Just for one. Just for one. That's still cheaper. Right. It's still cheaper, but I can't afford $700 for six photos. That's ridiculous. And so I don't like the way Holland America does photos at all. And this has really turned me off to, I mean, the photo guys are very, very nice and they do a really good job, but the way that they're pricing it and the way they're printing them all like that is just ridiculous. And it's really turned me off to the photo. I mean, we've, we've probably got a hundred photos saved in our folder up there and we're going to have to narrow it down to like 10 yeah. because the packages are so expensive and they don't offer an unlimited package. And they don't give you the opportunity to pre-pay for a package ahead of time, which I always do on Disney and Royal Caribbean. I, I, I do think, I don't. I think no, it's, it's the. And I don't think it's Holland America. I think it's the company they use. Um, With the photo. They use too fancy of a company. Yeah. Um, and because they even, didn't they say they're annoyed they don't have an unlimited too? Yeah. Yeah, they did. Them, why don't you have an unlimited package? And they said, trust us, we wish we did. They seem, they don't seem that thrilled with what they have to do. Yeah. Like, they don't seem thrilled that they have all these photos and stuff. And so this is, this is a, something that I really am not pleased about because we, we get a lot of photos when we go on cruises. We take a lot of pictures and we, we always spend money. And basically what they're doing, Megan was saying, this is going to backfire for them. Because nobody's going to buy photos when yeah. they're this expensive. If they're cheaper, then more people, more people will, buy, will them. buy them. And not to mention, they're wasting so much money by printing them all out. Yeah. For like $10,000 I wall. know, $10,000 of photos on the wall that if, don't print them out. Put them digitally so people can look at them. On a, they do have a few computers there that you can look at them on. Yeah. But they also print them all out. I, wish, I almost wish we hadn't even gotten to see them. Because yeah. now I'm so upset because they were so nice and we don't get to get any of them or ever see them again. And that whole thing was just a waste and I'm really upset because it was such a beautiful day and I have hardly any photos now. I have like one of Ben and one of my dad and... No, there's one of each individual except me. Yeah, and there's nothing of me. And, and nothing of us together. No, but you got some together. No, I got from the side while he was taking pictures of you. I took them from the side. That's it. I didn't get any of you together like smiling or anything. So anyway, this day ended kind of, I mean, we were having a really good day, but this day ended on really kind of a bummer note. I'm really upset about this. So don't do that. <laughs> I mean, unless you have, yeah, unless you have $3,000, don't sign up for a private photo package on Holland America, a private photo session, because it's a total ripoff and you don't get the pictures. So just take the ones that the regular photographers take, and even those are ridiculously expensive. Five hundred dollars for thirty photos. Yeah, it's so insane. Should have just taken thirty photos myself. <sighs> okay, sorry to end on such a bummer note, and sorry that I'm sad, but this was really upsetting. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, or if you found it informative or helpful in any way. We still have one more day on this cruise, and then we are going to be spending a couple days in Seattle. So make sure that you um, are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Have a great day, everyone, and safe travels. Mm -hmm.